Hello students! In this video, we'll study the stability, or long-time behavior, of first-order autonomous differential equations. A first-order autonomous, or time-independent, ODE, is one of the form dy dt is f of y where there's no time dependence in the function f. We can notice that this equation is separable, but oftentimes it's difficult to actually solve the separable equation through integration. So we wish to analyze the properties of the solutions of this differential equation without actually solving it. So we seek to analyze the solutions without solving the equation. We can find solutions of this equation through inspecting the function f. Indeed, any root of f will give a solution which is referred to as an equilibrium solution of the equation. So when we analyze these differential equations, we first seek to find the roots of f. I.e., we want to solve f of y equals 0. After we find the roots, we plot a sign chart for the function f and use the sign chart to determine the long time behavior. To determine the stability, or long time behavior. Let's see how this works through an example. Let's consider the following autonomous ordinary differential equation. dy dt is equal to y squared minus 3y plus 2. Noticing that we could solve this equation by separation of variables, we pause and say rather than do that, we will investigate the long time behavior by using the following method. Notice that the right hand side of the equation can be factored as y minus 2 times y minus 1, which makes it easy to find the roots of this function. Hence, y equals 1 and y equals 2 are equilibrium solutions. Other solutions to this equation will either tend to these equilibrium solutions or diverge from them. Let's plot the sign chart of this function to see how that works. This will be the sign chart for y minus 1, y minus 2. So there are zeros at 1 and 2. When I plug in a number y that's less than 1, I'll have a negative times a negative, which will be a positive. When I plug in a number between 1 and 2, I'll have a positive and a negative, which will give me a negative. And when I plug in a number larger than 2, I'll get a positive quantity, which tells us the following information. It tells us that dy dt will be positive in this range, dy dt will be negative in this range, and dy dt will be positive in this range. Which tells us that our solution will be increasing if we start less than 1, decreasing if we start between 1 and 2, or increasing if we start greater than 2. So let's try to plot some solutions of this equation. Here's the t-axis, and here's the y-axis, and we will now plot the equilibrium solutions. There's an equilibrium solution at 2, which just remains flat, and there's an equilibrium solution at 1. Using the information from our sign chart, I know that if a solution starts less than 1, it will increase. So any solution that resides less than 1 will increase. Any solution that starts between 1 and 2 will decrease.
and any solution that starts above 2 will increase. Looking at this configuration, we see that any solution that starts either below 1 or between 1 and 2 will tend to the solution y equals 1. So we'll say that y equals 1 is a stable equilibrium as solutions tend to approach y equals 1 as time gets very large. Similarly, solutions will diverge from y equals 2. If they start above 2, they'll drift away from 2. If they start below 2, they'll drift away from 2. So we'll say that y equals 2 is an unstable equilibrium. So by analyzing the sine of the function f and finding the roots of f, we were able to study the stability of any solution of the autonomous ODE. Thank you very much.